Hi everybody. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, abstract wall art using I'm using Invoke AI, which is a stable diffusion open source project, and I'll put the link to GitHub and the instructions are pretty simple to install it. You can also use your own uh, favorite AI image generator. And what I'm doing this for is I have this scene, I don't need that open. I have this scene in iClone. And I've got this wall here that's completely empty, so I wanted to put something. I was playing around with Blender, and this is actually looks like a good one. So I'll go ahead and just use it. I'll go ahead and stop this. So what I'm going to do is right-click and download this image. I've got a little folder here I'm working with, and I'll just call this Art. I'm going to replace that. And now I'm going to go over to Blender. And here is the link to this add-on if you want to get it. It is called Image to Mesh, and it's on Gumroad. It's actually, there's a free version, or you can get the pro version for $10. I'm using the free version, but you can, if you want to give them $10, I think it's worth it. But I'm a cheapskate. So, and then what I'm going to do next is, I already have it installed, but all you do is go to, hopefully you know how to, install blender add-ons if not there's a hundred videos on youtube i'm sure and let me open up this uh, it's not that one this one and i'm going to just select the image that i have and let's see somewhere i've got this folder and i think i called it that missing alpha channel so we skipped one step so what we're going to do is I'm going to use my site, which is pixeldatabase.net, or one of them, and I'm going to get rid of the black background. So to do that, this is actually, a, the, if you look at, I'm turning the color picker back on, and if you look at any of these, there's quite a bit of difference between the max color and the min color, but the black is almost a complete grayscale. It's not exactly, but it's pretty close. So if I just run this, That'll get me a black background. Some of that didn't come through. Let me see what some of that is. Okay, that's pretty close. So I can lower this number way down to like six or something. Okay, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, but let me go down to three. See if that's a little better. Okay, good enough for prime time. Doesn't matter if there's some missing pieces. And we'll just click on, actually I can kind of make that look a better. It looks like it's, pretty good till about right here so I'll just go hide where Y is less than 194 oops if I could type okay so didn't have to be a full screen so that's fine there so I'm gonna go ahead and download this and replace that okay and now we'll go back to blender and try that again missing alpha channel so i think it's cached because i let me rename it because i think i've already tried with that name it'll not figure it out so we'll go with art 2. okay and now i'm gonna zoom way let me make this bigger oh i gotta create image to, there we go okay so let me, uh, if I can figure out Blender again. Blender always seems to confuse me. Every 3D program is a little different. Okay, so it's not perfect looking, but what we're gonna do next is come over here to the Tools or the Modifier tab, and I'll apply this. And then I'm gonna add another modifier called Solidify, and make this 0 .04. So it just adds a little bit of thickness looks like we got a little bit of a oh an outlier there but that's okay and I will now just uh, this is another tool that is free on github and I will show you that link it's right here let me close these two down don't need them okay and this is called character creator iClone blender tool by soup day and it's also free so just come down here to releases Here's the source code, just take this and put it somewhere on your hard drive and then you can install this add-on. And then back in Blender, all I have to do is I want to uh, export, let me make sure I've got everything selected there, and we want export, let's see, somewhere down here, export accessory. And I'm going to put it in that same folder which is... 
geeks room and I'm just gonna call this wallart.fbx and export it and now we're gonna go over to iClone and I'm gonna import it and there it is wallart.fbx now it comes in a little small and it's kinda not facing the right way so I'm gonna first make it a little bit bigger about 300 and something like that okay and it might be too big we'll go back to 320 okay and next I'm gonna spin it 90 degrees on the z-axis and then we're gonna it's already on the W key and I'm gonna just go back. It looks like it's still too big and it's gonna be in the way of my poster a little bit. But I can always just resize this down and then back up. And there, that's a pretty simple way. Let me zoom in here a little bit, but that is a pretty simple way to create a uh, wall art. Oops, I kind of moved it there, not meaning to. But anyway, I'll put up the links to all this in the description. Let me know what you think, because I think it's pretty cool. All right. Have a great day.